Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Today I want to talk to you about shared copies in Studio One, so-called ghost copies, which can be very handy if you want to mirror specific editing changes that you've made on multiple parts of your arrangement. This is possible for both MIDI notes as well as audio events, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So to start things off here, let me just add the My Thai as an instrument by dragging and dropping it from the browser. This is it. And uh, now I'm just going to double click anywhere in my arrangement to create an empty instrument part. And now I'm just going to go ahead and double click that, add a couple of notes. There's uh, several ways you can do this. You can either add them with a double click. What you can also do is uh, hold down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows and then just drag a long note like so. If you hold down Option on a Mac or Alt at the same time on Windows, then you can uh, create several notes, like a chain of several notes with the length of the current grid setting that you see here. You can also build a step like that, but that's all besides the point. What I really want to show you is that when I now go ahead and duplicate this event in the Ranger section up here, then I get the possibility to also create a shared copy at the same time. Now, what's the difference between duplicating it regularly and creating a shared copy? That's what I want to show you now. So we're just going to drag this over to bar six, for instance. And now we really want to talk about modifier keys. If I let go, then I'm simply moving the event part over. But if I hold down option before I let go, then I would copy and paste it essentially or duplicate. And the other combination that I can go for is holding down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows before I let go. So I drag over and before I let go with the mouse, I hold down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows and that will create a shared copy. You can also detect this or easily spot it, I should say, um, by paying close attention to this ghost icon here. And when you see that, what that means is that any changes I'm doing to this event part now moving forward are going to be mirrored on the other events that are ghost copies as well. For instance, let's just say I'm adding a couple of notes here and there. You can see that's happening on both of these copies at the same time. That also works, of course, when you're in the drum view. So if we were working on a drum part, uh, I'm just going to switch the musical editor to drum view really quickly and I would add a couple of kick drums could see how these are appearing on both of these shared events at the same time. Now this does work with audio events as well, but the condition for that is that you put your audio events into a so-called audio part first, which is essentially a container for multiple audio events. Can be very useful if you want to do some editing on an audio file that you want to have mirrored on multiple parts in your song. So to demonstrate, let's hop over to the loops tab for instance and Let's just search for any kind of loop here. Anything will do for this demonstration. And I'm just going to drag that into a new audio track by simply dragging into the empty song space. Now I'm just going to duplicate this event once. And you will notice now I don't have the option to hold down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows like before. But what I can do is select these audio events together and then hit G, which merges them into a so-called audio part, right? This is a container that now contains these two separate audio events without being an actual bounced render that you wouldn't be able to undo anymore. Okay, so from this point forward, what I can do is select it. And now just like with the instrument part that you've seen before, I can hold down command or control on Windows and create a shared copy that way. And now you'll notice that as I'm selecting one of the two audio events inside of this audio part, and I'm, let's say, attenuating the gain a little bit, this is also happening on the shared copy over here. So these are the two separate ways that you can work with shared copies in Studio One. It's both possible for audio as well as instrument parts. And um, yeah, it can be an incredibly handy tool if you want to apply the same editing steps on multiple parts of your song at once. Thank you for watching.